Mixed feelings have continued to trail this year's Christmas and New Year celebrations as some traders cry of low patronage. Others express happiness for high sales recorded in the present economic reality in Nigeria. This was observed when the AVS visited some markets, business premises and parks in Oka and its environs to ascertain how people are preparing for the Christmas and New Year celebrations in this part of Nigeria. Our correspondent, Emmanuel Okonko, tells us more. He has visited a corker. The market was scanty, and sellers in the market we are seeing making little or no sales as prices of commodities, including foodstuffs, have skyrocketed when compared to what they were sold this period last year. At some parts, few number of travelers were spotted traveling to various destinations to mark the celebration with families and friends. The case was different at Gariki, Amansi, where people were seen in their numbers buying cows, rams, and goods for the celebrations. When interviewed, a seller at a coca market who deals on kiddies' wares, Mrs. Anguleka Okonkwo Epundo, and her male's wear dealer counterpart, Mr. Alex Ibezim, lamented low sales this year, a situation they attributed to economic crunch in the country, occasioned by the hike in petrol and continuous increase in exchange rates which has severely multiplied prices of commodities in the markets, asking the federal government to, as a matter of urgency, revamp the production sector of the country, especially refineries, so that petrol will be refined in Nigeria. The sales of this year isn't funny at all. You know, um, things are hard, the economy is very, very bad, and uh, things aren't moving well. Not like last year, things were a bit rough, but not as much as this year. But still we're managing, you know, not just in kiddies, where everything it's rising in a high range. But we thank God we are still doing it, we are pushing it. Also speaking, a petrol dealer in Amobia, Mr. Okechufu Ebele, said their sales this year is nothing to write home about following the increase in petrol price, identifying well-functioning refineries in Nigeria as the only solution to petrol price hike, even as he commended the efforts of Governor Chukwu Masoludo in cushioning the effects of the hard time in the country on the citizenry and appealed to the governor to initiate more means of encouraging business people in the state to survive the present situation in Nigeria. On his part, a one-time youth chairman, Amobia, in Oka South Council area, who is in charge of the Noras Park, Mr. Paul Onwara, said that Governor Chukwuma Soludo's abolition of multiple taxation and operation of Aburo on the state's roads has in no small measure helped to reduce the sufferings of both the transporters and passengers in the area of unnecessary spending on transportation, commending the governor on construction of roads across the state for easy vehicular and human movement. <laughs> Now, uh, since you told that there are changes, now uh, this various park, the other salon do keke na ndo moto. At least some of them that will have to face the main road, but if you don't do much easy, as in China, can I solve that? Yeah, eight years. I'm a lawyer. Change your number of streets to the next level. For the chairman, Amansi Kato Market, Al Haji Beru Magare, they are recording more sales this year than last year, despite the fact that the economy is biting hard, explaining that the cow they sold for 350,000 naira last year is now 700,000, calling on government at all levels to tackle the issue of the dwindling economy and double taxation in the interest of suffering masses. The prices of last year and this year, today, uh, this year one is, is double to compare the one of last year. A cow we are selling at the rate of uh, 350 or 300 that time is up to 700 now. So because of the high cost of transportation and a lot of touts on the road with the issue of collecting revenue, we are, we are, we are paying double taxation along the highway. 